Good morning, everybody. Um, I have to make this fairly quick. I'm trying to make this video. Um, it's going to be, I'm going to read from, uh, don't sit, sweat the small stuff. I'm going to try, uh, you know, I read the introduction Monday. And uh, when I get my situation with my, wife, my internet and everything more stabilized, I'll try to do them uh, reading from this book probably daily, but right now I'm just doing it. I'm kind of just uh, winging it. So right now I'm going to be trying to do it at least Mondays and Wednesdays and maybe Fridays. But once I get my internet going where I can upload every day again easily, I'll try to do that. But um, this is number one, don't sweat the small stuff. Oh, I have an appointment this morning. That's why I'm trying to make this a little uh, quick. I'm going to just read this. And uh, I'm going to upload this when I get into town around the doctor's office. Often we allow ourselves to get all worked up about things that upon closer examination aren't really that big a deal. We focus on little problems and concerns and blow them, blow them way out of proportion. A stranger, for example, might cut in front of us in traffic rather than let it go. And go on with our day, we convince ourselves that we are justified in our anger. We play out an imaginary confrontation in our mind. Many of us might even tell someone else about the incident later on, rather than simply let it go. Why not instead simply allow the driver to have his or her accident somewhere else? Try to have compassion for the person and remember how painful it is to be in such an enormous hurry. Enormous hurry. This way, we can maintain our own sense of well-being and avoid taking other people's problems personally. These are many similar small, there are many similar small stuff examples that occur every day in our lives. Whether we had, a wait in line, had to wait in line, listen to unfair criticism, or do the lion's share of the work, it pays enormous dividends if we learn not to worry about little things. So many people spend so much of their life energy sweating the small stuff and they completely lose touch with the magic and beauty of life when you commit to working toward this goal you will find that you will have far more energy to be kinder and gentler and i believe that's true i'm gonna try not to sweat small stuff today like this morning i really i wanted to uh, scrap this appointment again and I really don't need to. This wound on my knee needs to be healed. Or uh, they need to do a deep cleaning on this scar on my knee. It's been uh, a wound there for probably three and a half years. So once they did, once he gets in there, hopefully he'll do the deep cleaning today. I hope he's not just looking at it and then setting up another appointment. I hope it gets the cleaning done and then I can move forward with this. Because uh, once they do the deep cleaning, then that wound will finally close up and heal it wants to it likes to begin to scab over and then a little bit of stuff builds up in it and it pops open and so it's consistently it stay it's always trying to heal but never can fully heal and that's been the problem uh i imagine part of it was due to my drinking back uh when i first uh acquired this little it originally was a blood blister on my knee but um I've got to think about what i got to put in my backpack. Uh, I need to brush my teeth, and I still have a little bit of coffee to drink. And I will, I'll be drinking the coffee, trying to drink the coffee, and then brush my teeth, do it uh, opposite, or I mean, the way that I said it. So uh, if I get a chance while I'm in town, I'll make another video and see if I can connect to Wi Fi and upload it. But uh, this was, if you don't see anything else but this, uh, just know that. Uh, I'm working on trying to get a, something going where I can do better and uh, put out more daily videos like I was doing uh, consistently. So until next time, Mr. Cloud, say the eternal moment over and out. Ditto.